Jesus Reigns TV, impacting, dominating, colonizing nations with the gospel of Jesus Christ. The prayer of a righteous man prevails. You're watching Faith Time with Yamkela Joseph, a servant of God in our time. Connect in faith. Blessed be the name of our Lord. What a marvelous time, what a marvelous hour. My name is Yamkela Joseph. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord make his face shine upon your life. Family, I believe that we are living in a time where the Spirit of God has fallen unto the sons of men. The Bible says in that hour and in that time, the Lord will pour out his Spirit upon all flesh. Your young men and women will prophesy. So today I want to speak to you about what I have titled prophetic activation and prophetic impartation. These are very important things for people to understand the ministry of the prophetic and what the prophetic it is for. Because the prophetic, it is the only ministry that ushered and prepared for the coming of the Messiah and it is still the only ministry that will again prepare for his return. In the Bible we make it clear after the book of Mika in the last chapter of Mika the Bible says in that day I will send the spirit of Elijah the God says I will send I mean in Malachi the Lord says I will send the spirit of Elijah you understand? You will turn the heart of the fathers to the sons and the father and the and the heart of the sons to the fathers. So what is happening, the spirit of the prophetic is the ushering of the end time. So now the Bible makes it clear that the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why God had to send Elijah in the form of John the Baptist in order to prepare the coming of the Lord, in order to prepare the coming of the Messiah. Now, in the end time again, we will see the spirit of Elijah and the spirit of the two witnesses who are preparing uh, uh, the, the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ again. So what I want to say to you is the prophetic cannot be outruled. The prophetic cannot be terminated. The prophetic is older. The prophetic is greater. So it is the ministry of Christ. It is the ministry that prepares the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is good that we become prophetic. The Apostle Paul, in his book, in the book of Corinthians, number 13, he says, follow the way of love especially these are spiritual gifts especially that you prophesy so for he that prophesies edifies the church so I want you to understand if we have to be having a stronger church a built church it is through the prophetic that the church of God will be prepared to become clean and mature before Christ so we have to get into the prophetic and be imparted now i want to speak to you more than just the prophetic but how to get prophetic impartation and prophetic activation let us go in the book of romans romans number one romans number one we have just two scriptures then i speak to you romans number one verse number 11 the bible says for i want very much to see you so that I may impart to you some spiritual gifts to strengthen you. Uh, that is to be mutually encouraged by each other's faith, both yours and mine. Now the Apostle Paul is speaking to the Roman church and he says to them, I want to come to you so that I may be able to impart some spiritual gifts to you so that we can strengthen the faith of both of us. Now the word impart here, it means to activate. It means to to implant uh, and uh, uh, some spiritual gifts to the people. So the Apostle Paul, he says, he's going to lay hands or he's going to pray for them so that he may begin to impart spiritual gifts to their lives. Now, the Bible says when Jesus met his apostles, the Holy Spirit had not yet come by that time. Then now what happened is, the Bible says he breathed to them and he said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. And that breath that he was breathing, it is what is called impartation. So Jesus was imparting a portion of his spirit to the disciples of Christ. And he was now activating them to the supernatural by what is called impartation. But, but you know, because I have a, two definitions of impartations, that I want, there are two levels of impartations that I want you to know. There is an impartation which is just a portion of the spirit where the Bible speaks about Moses having a gathering which is called the prophetic summit 
we're here to gather 70 elders and give them a portion of his spirit so that they may begin to be those who are working with him towards the church and all of those things like that now those the bible says then it happened that there were two men called medad and hadad who were not in the camp then they began to catch the spirit of prophecy yet they were not in the prophetic meeting then they began to prophesy within the camp and two men came to report them then moses said leave them because the lord desires that all of them may begin to prophesy all the people of god may begin to prophesy so now what you see there it is the impartation of the portion of the spirit of the man of god then what happens is that that portion of the spirit activates that person to become prophetic now the second uh, uh, way of becoming uh, uh, activated in the prophetic it is by prophetic activation now how do you get prophetic activation is being by inspired and being in a prophetic atmosphere now some of you just by watching me right now you will be activated in the prophetic because you're inspired to prophesy now desiring to prophesy just makes you to be activated in the prophetic so immediately the time you begin to desire the prophetic you start becoming aligned to the spirit of prophecy then the lord begins to impart you now in order for you to really have the prophetic activation you must first have a great hunger so you need to be hungry for the holy spirit you need to be hungry for the work of the holy spirit because the holy spirit is the one who gives prophetic activation you can only be activated in the supernatural by the ministry of the holy spirit so it's very important for you to understand that now that jesus in the book of x let's go to x number one i want you to see something in x number one uh, verse number eight the bible says but you will receive power when the holy spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses in jerusalem in judea and samaria and to the ends of the earth now look at this jesus said to them you will receive power when the holy ghost has come upon you then you'll be my witnesses upon all the world now in the last book of revelations number 19 we hear that the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of our lord jesus christ so the holy spirit is the one that helps us to be effective witnesses of the gospel of jesus so right now as you are sitting there at home i want you to understand that the only key to become a prophetic person you need the holy spirit the holy spirit is the one who gives us access to the prophetic because he is the governor of the prophetic ministry i want you also to go to the book of kings just several scriptures to take you so that you begin to learn a few things about the prophetic so the book of kings second kings uh second kings uh chapter number three verse number 11. now look what it says but jehoshaphat said isn't the prof isn't a pro isn't there a prophet of the lord here let's inquire of the lord through him one of the servants of the king of israel answered and elisha answered elisha son of shepherd who used to pour water on elijah's hands is here jehoshaphat affirmed the word of the lord is with him so the king of israel jehoshaphat and the king of edom went to him now these are two kings looking for a man to inquire and now they say okay is there a man of the Lord that is here that we may inquire of him what the Lord is saying concerning the nation and the direction and to which they should take? Now the Bible says they begin. One man recommends that there is a man called Elisha who used to pour water in the hands of Elijah. Now this is something that I want you now to begin to understand here. The way the servant of the king describes Elijah, I mean Elisha, he said he is a man who used to pour water into the hands of Elijah the prophet. Now he knows him as the servant of the prophet. Now he says, I know the man who was a servant of the prophet Elijah and is alive. We can go to him. Why is this servant thinking that a man who used to pour water in the hands of a prophet is now also a prophet or is also able to prophesy.
it is because the servant understands that the prophetic is infectious the prophetic you can't be around a prophetic person and not be prophetic you cannot serve a prophet and not be prophetic so now what is happening is that he begins to understand that by the fact that elisha was serving elijah then it means elisha carries the same mantle and the same anointing that was upon elijah and correctly so it was as the servant had said now i want you to say to you the second level of impartation it is double portion of a spirit of a man in his absence now you cannot just get that one anyhow that one can only be attained by service you can't be imparted unless you have saved that anointing now the only way for you to truly truly operate in the spirit of a man that you desire to operate in whether you see a man of god whether you see whoever that you desire to operate under the same influence of the spirit you can never be able to operate in that anointing unless you have served that anointing so the highest level of prophetic impartation is activation by service because now you hear that this man served the prophet by pouring water in his hand many of you want the impartation but don't want the service it's impossible for you to have the double portion or even the spirit of the prophet and if you are not serving the prophet so it is only by service that you can get prophetic activation and impartation of the highest level so right now you can hear that the kings inquired from a man who poured water in the hands of the prophet so right now i want to ask you if you want prophetic impartation identify a man and pour water in his hand serve him serve his ministry be part of that ministry you will see the impartation will come upon your life it is only service anointing is not cheap you can only work in order to get it it is not just a free thing you have to serve the anointing in order to be imparted by that anointing so right now i want to pray for somebody who says i want prophetic activation in my life and i want to learn the prophetic i want to speak i want to prophesy now i want to pray for you because the bible says if i lay hands the holy spirit may come upon your life and you may be imparted and by the holy spirit and be activated in the prophetic so right now stretch your hands towards me heavenly father i pray right now for one young men and young women for one man and women who are asking for prophetic impartation prophetic activation i pray that the holy spirit be upon them right now and activate them in the supernatural so the gift of god be transferred the gifts of the holy spirit be given to them in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare you are imparted. You receive the impartation of God. Receive the impartation of God. Receive the spirit of prophecy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus, receive the spirit of prophecy in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody is receiving right now. Your eyes are being opened prophetically. You will hear from the Lord. You will begin to speak in unknown tongues. You will begin to prophesy. Your tongue is anointed to prophesy. Whatever you say shall come to pass. In the blood of Jesus Christ, I declare you are imparted in Jesus' mighty name. Those who say, I want to save, go and save so that you may receive the spirit of a man you desire to operate under. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord make his face shine upon your life. I believe that God is raising a prophetic generation. Remember, it is time for us to be prophetic and to be apostolic because these are two foundations and which the church is formed upon. So we have to be a stronger, a better and a greater church than ever before. So right now, family, I want you to make sure that you click on the notifications. Tell somebody about this channel and make sure that you subscribe because God is ready to change your life. And this is Jesus' friend. My name is Yamkela Joseph. Until I see you next time. Shalom, shalom. God bless you.